For several weeks now, Kanye West has been spewing anti-Semitic hate speech on social media platforms, radio and TV, including tweeting that he was going to go death con three on Jewish people. He's also appeared on a popular podcast over here, repeating tired old tropes about Jewish people controlling business and money to the exclusion of others. Anti-Semitic hate crimes are already on the rise in America and many people fear that Kanye West's statements and his behaviour may have emboldened Nazi groups. For example, there was a protest here in Los Angeles over the weekend where a group of Nazi demonstrators gathered on a motorway bridge and hung banners over, one of which said Kanye West is right about Jewish people. So you can imagine a huge amount of concern about what's happening. Celebrities, though, have united in condemnation uh, of Kanye West, his ex-wife, Kim Kardashian, saying this rhetoric, this hateful rhetoric against Jewish people must be constantly called out. Almost all of the businesses and sponsors associated with Kanye West have now dropped him. He's also been dropped by his talent agency, Adidas were among the last remaining businesses that were standing by him, but under enormous pressure, they have now terminated their partnership too. Adidas say it's cost them almost $250 million. Financial experts say it could have cost Kanye West more than a billion dollars. So with this anti-Semitic hate speech, he's not only taken a sledgehammer to his reputation, but his fortune too. And what happens next is anybody's guess, but Kanye West may find it very hard to recover his previous standing in Hollywood.